Okay, we are live. Oh, Hello, what? everybody. That's Hello. some trash. <clears throat> I need to open Twitch. Don't need to. Oh, are you saying I'm free from from Twitch? No, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying that you don't need to. Hmm. I'd like you to. Then I don't, don't have need to see to. everybody bullying me in the Twitch chat. Oh, and is that a thing? Yep, every day I get bullied. Every day they're bullying. Do, 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 do. Welcome back to 2011. I miss the jazz. Well, maybe you should uh, like pick up an instrument and uh, start to play Please jazz yourself. Jazz. Yeah. This never gets old. Yeah. No Hello more decorations. Denmark from Austria. Hello, Austria from Denmark and Sweden. Yes. Who bloody thinks we look like that? So, you on? Uh, do you want to do the dives today, or? Uh... Uh, doesn't matter to me. Uh, I want to grind the pass. I think I want to grind the pass. Yeah, the rig feels empty now. Yeah. I didn't know how it looked like a year and a half ago. Yeah. 
Hello, sir. So how are you today? Is the plan to make a water biome and react to using water mechanics? No. Uh, water uh, and uh, the structural terrain sucks. And it's possible to do, but uh, only if you uh, like slideshows when you play video games. Or your uh, final developer was really good at doing stuff like that. Maybe then... Uh, it's not us. Right, Johan? Mm -hmm. We suck. Yep. <clears throat> Why couldn't we keep the oxygen tanks? Have Oh, the, you mean the helium tanks on the space rig? Or are we actually talking about the oxygen in the low oxygen modifier? I mean, I feel that chemically there's a, a difference between helium and oxygen, so... It's important. He says yes. Mm. Yeah, that's because it's the party thing, and uh, the party's yeah. over. No more balloons. What do you wanna? What, which one did you wanna do, Leon? All right, so uh, hollow bow, fungus, crystal, oh. or dense. Uh, so very varied there, and lithophage. Heavy pocket or unhealthy mouth? Take unhealthy mouth. And the game is open, if anyone wants to join. Uh, I think the name of the game is Supporter Pack 2 only. Uh, you don't have to have that. Uh, it's okay if you do. And it's okay if you don't. If you run out and get it afterwards, that's also <coughs> fine. If you don't, that's also fine. Urie. Hello. Hello. Or should I say hello? Hello. Hello. Lusty. This is Sweden. This is like a. Uh, <coughs> this is like a. Uh, it's the white and the four dwarves, I guess. Lusty. That's one of the dwarves in. Uh, in, in in Swedish too, right? Mm, no. No. In Danish we have Lusty, I think he's called. Lusty. Which one is he? Um, is he the happy one? Or is he yeah, the... I think he's the happy one. I think in Swedish he's called Glader. Glader. <coughs> that makes sense. Wait, is that what I would drink a beer? That's what's for beer. <laughs> oh, Skull Crush Ale. If Are it's you... the the one who's dumb, he's called Tulker. Oh. I I can't I can't recall what he's called. <clears throat> Do you guys have any plans to add more stuff to the pointer? Uh, like you can tell teammates to play the platform there. Should they add? Uh, nope. Yeah, we have no plans on doing that. Uh, but, uh we we feel it's uh, contextual. <coughs> so. If you ping something, it should be obvious what it, what what you want done, basically. Could you add an option to slap the dice more? <coughs> you mean harder? Because I don't think there's a. We could add more dice, I guess. Would that yeah. give you like fifty percent more dice uh, for slap? Yeah. Do anything about the fact that dark morkite beer is useless in most situations and beer buffs in apply two times the buff. Um, I think at this point the double 
application of the beer buffs is, I mean, it's just how the game works. I don't think there's a problem with it. But uh, but we, I don't think we can like say it, it it'll stay. I'm not sure. Uh, what if our game director doesn't feel the same way? Yeah, well. I mean, I I feel that uh, it's been okay for five it, years. It, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean. I, I I feel it's it's kind of stand stood the test of time, right? Uh, yeah. But uh, I just feel like uh, we we've, we've had that situation before, um, and it was still changed. So just don't want to promise anything. So you can go and say, "Oh, the devs said this," and uh, so. It's okay, Jacob. They already have the clip they can take out. Of yeah, yeah, but uh, Johan and I just, uh, we don't want to uh, have any responsibilities uh, just because we're playing video games uh, on a stream. Oh, I'm out of here. <clears throat> I was born ready. There's no plans to change it, uh, and it's the same with the uh, Morakai to beer. Uh, there's no plans to change that one. At least anytime soon. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, a general filter on uh, on how the bears are situational uh, is not gonna happen. I think. Also, the one that that lets you uh, like destroy terrain with the one less pickaxe will also be useless on uh, sandblasted. But uh, I mean, you you can you pick the bear to the for the mission you go on. Uh, it's not like the bear dictates the mission, so. Just don't get it. Or when the Dark Mokite bears there do uh, mining <clears throat> expeditions, I mean, it's... Uh... Unless it would take zero hits to destroy the terrain. You just go down into the mission and the cave is just gone. Nice. Bye-bye, cave! Oh, hello. Boop, 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 boop. Lobby carriers here carrying us. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Hit it. I'm just digging for the A quarks. Sucks. Oh, thank you. When does season three end, and will season four be as unique as three? Will it be calmer? Uh, well, <laughs> it ends when season four starts, uh, as as per usual, uh, and we haven't really said a lot about when that is. Um, uh, 
Um, and in regards to theme, uh, all we've said is that it's not going to be robots. Just like this season. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean... Weapon ready. I never... I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen, like, a point extraction like this. This what? Uh, like, the it starts like this. The point extraction. I have. Okay, it's, then. Uh... Mr. Expert Gamer Guy. Yeah, yeah. 24... 69. I'm sorry, but you gave me uh, an opportunity to flex my knowledge. Bet you play TF2 too. Mm -hmm. And Smash Bros. Oh no! <clears throat> Red Sugar! Hulu! Alright, I have the other uh, A-Quirk. Oh. Alright, let's go. Uh, no, there's no plans to add a shooting range to the game. <clears throat> On-site brewing missions. You know that brewing beer, like, takes four to eight weeks, right? I don't think we can do that in a mission. <clears throat> Would be in the cave for a long ass time. Long ass time. Hmm. <laughs> I think oil, ref, refining oil takes longer too. That's probably true. <laughs> yeah, but it's not but like I... you could go somewhere and then that like. Uh, make a hole in the ground and then beer comes up. Why not? Not how beer works. Why not? Because uh, someone decided so. <clears throat> Man. Oh yeah, thanks to Hoxie and Super Yeast. I forgot about the Super Yeast. <clears throat> Is that the thing I have uh, like 1500 of in my in inventory? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> what happens to XP once you reach max level? Uh, you don't get any XP if you are level 25 and do uh, a mission. But if you <laughs> if you promote and uh, and keep going, even though you don't go up in ranks, if you're very high up, it will still keep track of it if we should one day add more uh, levels or you can switch to another class assuming you have it already Plan to add a shooting range because we saw it in the Legacy Edition. Uh, there's a door, locked door, uh, called like that. Uh, I think part of it is like uh, for the development. Oh, shit. it uh, was an intention of doing so. I don't think it was planned. Yeah. I mean, no work was ever made on it. I think. 
other than it's the kind of like expanding the space and, and, and like imagining what can be there uh, and it, there was n uh, no concrete plans to do it uh, we did look into it at one point but decided it was uh, uh, it's a bit complicated <coughs> uh, and it wouldn't be much better than loading into a mission but um, What, what do you think of Finland, someone asks. Uh, I think it's fine, land. Lots of mosquitoes there. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I've been there once and I can confirm. I mean, you can have lots of mosquitoes in Sweden too, right? Yeah, but uh, not here not south. Not There's Finnish no mosquitoes. Hey. As, a, as one of those people that uh, gets all the mosquitoes when you're hanging out with people, uh, I hate, I hate mosquitoes. Yeah, they suck. And everyone else just, oh no, there's no mosquitoes here. Oh, I threw the second door objective. Eh. <clears throat> and I'd do it again. At least you don't have to deal with Florida mosquitoes. Are Florida mosquitoes bad? I think they're my tail grabbers. Mm. All right, <clears throat> now it's just the biomes, so fungus or a hollow bow or a crystal or dense. <sighs> Gonna do this one. Star like... Morgan, nope. Oh, nope, 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 nope. How topical. I mean, at least in Sweden, we don't really have malaria, so... Uh... That's the thing we don't have to deal with. I think most uh, like northern countries with mosquitoes don't have malaria. Apparently, there is outbreaks of it every really. I mean, couple of years, but uh, I don't think it lasts for a, a long time. It's just something I heard. It could be completely false. I've seen Michigan mosquitoes <laughs> carry away full-grown deer. Holy shit! <laughs> That's that, that, that's worse than a McDerrick grabber. Are you sure that wasn't like Mothman or Mosquito Man, maybe? Michigan Man. Bigfoot. Cool, but the mosquitoes are worse. We only have to deal with them for a few months of the year and Florida has them here all the time. Would you consider adding space recustomization where you can essentially pick a season event of the space? Nope. Uh, they would only confuse people. Uh, and they would, I uh, mean, in one aspect, I think it would be nice, but I think it's also nice that it's sort of like this is the season. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it, it is like a post board for the events we, we have. Uh, and in that sense, it's important to keep keep it uh, like to the events. I, I mean, you can get mods that do it, um, but um, it shouldn't really be Christmas on the space rig unless it's a Christmas event. But I mean, other things could probably make sense. Um, just not the the, the in-game events uh, cosmetics. I don't think that makes sense. How the hell have mosquitoes gone through a beekeeping uniform? What the hell? But do they have like diamond drills in their face? Lockpicks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know bees can still sting sometimes through those beekeeping suits if you're a bit unlucky, but. Uh... I feel like a bee is a bit stronger than a mosquito generally. Yeah. I, I would think maybe the mosquito can actually go through like the fabric because of... Uh, maybe. Pretty much maybe just it has a, a tiny shift. hole there. It's a shank. Yeah. It's just a sharpened piece of mosquito. Should we uh, go? Yeah. yeah. Question, is it worth gathering more kite once you reach the mission goal? Not really. You still get like a very small amount of XP, but... Uh, your time is uh, better spent uh, just starting a new mission. Uh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Where are that, you going? That feels safe. <laughs> You think about it, mosquitoes are made to punch through skin, so it kind of checks out. I mean, so are bee stingers, right? Pretty much any any stinger. Yeah. But I guess a uh, mosquito mouth is a bit thinner, maybe. Maybe it's easier. Is the area above the rig ever gonna get developed? Uh, maybe. We have to find something to put in there that's not a shooting range. Uh, do you guys have any other games? Because if there are, I would love to try them out. Uh, this is our only game. Um, yeah, we're publishing other games now, but uh, they're not out yet, so... But we do think they're cool. And that you should buy them. There is Nitro over here. Nitro. Stun and sweep. Pop. Did I hear a... Uh... Cool. This is uh, funky. Dry as a bone. Can't bone be wet? Can also be dry, I guess. I guess it's mostly wet when it's inside of an actual living thing. So it's, it's dry as bone that's been uh, excavated from a living being uh, a little while ago. Uh, yeah. It's... I don't get that. Unless story. it's rained. Unless it's rained, yeah. yeah. Or it maybe is like submerged into swamp land or something like that. Language is weird. So what you mean is that we should alter the voice line to say dry like bones sometimes are. That would only be fair, right? Yeah, I think so. Better to be accurate. Yeah. I know in, in Denmark we say hard as bone. Bone hard. But bones also kind of break easily. That's brittle as bone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing makes sense yeah. anymore. <laughs> what the hell? Language. Platform. Can has. It's up here. Oh, also smash it. Oh, also there. All right. Should we continue? Ah, uh, yeah. Let me just get the last nitro here. Get the nitra. Probably don't have base for no, I don't. I'm full. Where's Molly? Here, have some extinction. Where is she? Okay, she's almost here. I was born ready. Do do do. Can is 
First of all, hello from Brazil. Do you intend, intend adding any to add customization to the model? Uh, no plans. Um, I think one of the reasons is that it would be mostly focused on the host. Uh, and I think we'd rather do stuff that's for all players. Um, it's invisible X. Or not invisible, but intangible. Where are you going, Jacob? We're here. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. What prevents notes from spawning in the ceiling? Is there a check for the angle of the surface, or is it something else? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. But... Cave generation with uh, like why? Uh, like we could risk all the nitro would be like in the ceiling. Oh, uh, mineral notes, or is that what we're talking yeah. about? Yeah, not music, Johan. Don't worry. Yeah, I understood that it was not notes. Like a musical notes, but I didn't know what it was. Yes, it could be pathfinding notes too. But uh, we have a, a number of controls uh, to sort of generate, like decide where different nodes goes. So we can be, we can tell the system only to spawn it on top of like the normal cave material, for instance, or on dirt specifically if we would want that. Or uh, and they have like a angle restriction uh, that they need to be in on so they can pretty much only be on walls um, and we also have a few controls for spawning uh, sort of uh, more kites for instance is uh, more common at the end of the cave uh, than in the beginning Step. Jacob. We truly believe in the voice line and we're rich when finding comic goal, or is it just coping mechanism from the DRG employees to co op all the years of exploring? I mean, you do get a cash payout from finding it, so. Uh... I guess it's also worth mentioning that the we're rich thing is not intentional. <laughs> the thing people... Oh uh, yeah, the whole pinging of it. The, uh, the yeah. meme, yeah. Well, that's uh, completely organic. I mean, I, I think like uh, the old gold miners would also get excited if they found a lot of gold, even though they were working. Mm -hmm. For uh, for a company, so uh, my uh, saying uh, the, our employer is uh, rich is just not doesn't have the same feel to it. Played early on during like early access. Any advice for returning to the? Uh, any advice to returning to the game now? Been so many seasons and new stuff added. Um, get good. Yeah. No, uh, but uh, I don't know. Just jump in and play the game. I don't think it's that complicated. No, just I think start out by trying to unlock upgrades for the classes you like and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And make sure to uh, play the game during events uh, where you get more season pass XP. Season pass is free, by the way. Uh, and uh, hats from uh, ho like holiday events like Halloween uh, will return next year if you miss them. Uh, the anniversary hats won't. And we also have like a few others that uh, currently no no plans to return, but 
and everything that you miss in a season will stay in the game, so you can you don't have to like rush it. Yeah. If you don't want. I'll just move uh, on to the normal loot mechanics. Alright, should we get going? Yeah. Contact! They're in the walls! Oh, sorry. have a friend who purposely doesn't want to complete the season so he can gather more stuff in more cores and cargo crates. Oh? That's like a first. I've never heard of that before. I get it though. I really feel we should put some stuff in the uh, crates for those who've got them all. Just a, like a few things just to uh, keep it exciting. I agree. But, uh, keep getting shot down. All my good ideas. Do you get from cargo crates if you have everything? Uh, you always get the minerals that it drops. Um, An XP, I think. I don't XP. remember, but you you at least always get the the minerals. Uh, and uh, yeah, then you have everything, so you don't really get anything else. But you help your uh, crew uh, getting it too. So probably someone on your team doesn't have it. I think it's uh, always fun. I think it, I like the whole treasure, yeah, treasure mechanic in it. It's uh, really cool. <laughs> volatile guts, it's uh, making this a lot easier. So if you have everything and open a crate, you get no item, does that mean your teams also get no item? Or is the item rolled on when another person gets an item from the crate? So the chest tries to award everyone the same thing, if possible. But uh, 
if you already have that item, then you obviously will get another item. Uh, and if you have gotten everything from the chest and open it, everyone will still get sort of what they can unlock from the chest. Yeah. So so uh, even if you have nothing and you open it, uh, everyone does will will get something if they don't have it. Yeah. You can never sort of screw anyone out of items by having everything and opening it. Damn it. Oh, whoop. Noise. Any spoilers for future work revolving around alien ruins or Eric Hughes found Hoxies? Nope. Alright, where is Molly? Here. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Rock and stone. was the most frustrating thing to code. Uh, I think uh, as long as things work, it's not super frustrating to code many things. I mean, it's general things like uh, uh, like uh, debugging why things aren't being networked from host to clients and stuff like that. But it's it doesn't have a have to be a specific thing that is annoying with it. But uh, when the stuff doesn't work or it doesn't compile for whatever weird reason or it fails to make files or stuff like that's so really time consuming and annoying to deal with. <laughs> Uh, will the animation for crafting overclocks ever be fixed after some season? I've always seen the camera pan too fast. I wasn't aware that it was broken. It's a bug or feature that people who join a mission after a crate backpack and fuse has been opened, uh, they can't claim reward for it. It's a feature. Uh, we don't want people to game the system uh, like that. So if you find one and you open it and uh, invite your friends over, they get nothing. Uh, but if uh, you get them over, uh, get them in your game before um, you open it, then, then they get it. I mean, it's uh, yeah. not that harsh of a restriction. Let's so. see. So if I craft this, is it panning too fast? Yeah. 
very small. Very small. Very small. It, it looks good to me. Yeah. I don't know. Are there credits somewhere in the game that we can look at? Uh, yes, yes, in the menu. Options menu and let's see. Base more, base more, base more. Actually, don't know where it is. Yeah, it used to. Maybe it's when you actually exit the game. Maybe. I think it's when you exit the game. Do you have plan on adding better sharpening methods? DLSS this false sharpening looks bad compared to CS. Uh, I don't think uh, I think uh, I don't think we're gonna fill a lot with uh, those uh, third-party uh, methods. I think it's up to them to make it look good. I'm not, I'm not sure how the implementation implementation actually works. Get drunk, get drunk. Lots of gold, John. Don't leave. Can we get more achievements on all platforms? Maybe one day. Uh, we have to bundle them uh, together uh, because on consoles you have to add a big batch of um, achievements uh, worth a certain amount of points. Um, Rock and stone. Get your uh, pots of gold. When will we have news about next update season? Uh, when we're ready to share it. Uh, will Deep Rock Survivor come to consoles if it does well on PC? I, I think it will. Um, it launching on PC only to begin with is, is I think it's more to get uh, feed, user feedback and uh, the whole early access thing. Um, it's also part of uh, part of the publishing uh, of it is, is also... Um, uh, Helping out getting it onto different platforms. And yeah, stuff. and 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 the whole early access thing because we had success with it. So we we'll, we would also like to teach others, especially uh, here in Denmark, other developers to have the same sort of success with the same experience. So we're using our experience to uh, to help others um, learn to do something similar. And since it's our IP, I think it's also uh, also makes a lot of sense to you saw sort of the same um, approach platforms. we've used. Yep. Yeah. Wait, I didn't you know you guys had a Twitch. Then how did you get here? You should ping everyone on Discord every time. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not getting very popular when I do that. <laughs> I mean, we we lose people on Discord when that happens. Doesn't the uh, we don't go into minus though? But uh, people don't like getting pinged, even if it's a funny Space Dwarf game. Funny space dwarf game. Just take your sweet time, old lady. What? Got a cargo crate. plan for the next season to repeat the 1-2 trend and have a second outbreak season or will you guys drop something completely different? Uh, that's not a... 
custom rule that we've set that we're gonna follow that each theme will have two seasons uh, and uh, we don't really have any details we uh, can share share at this point um, guess so. you'll just have to wait and see yeah I've never understood people leaving Discord for being ping, just mute. I, I think it's annoying to when random servers I'm in just has a bunch of I was on the hunt, hunt Showdown server and that was, that, that was uh, pretty uh, excessive at some point. Um, until I muted it. Wow, so much magnet. But maybe we should have like a like a stream roll or something. But usually we, we only we only ping if it's something like important. Um, um, or something new about the seasons. Will you ever play Hunt Showdown on stream? Probably not. No. We have only really done Deep Rock related things uh, on the stream and I assume that's how we're gonna stay for the foreseeable future. Get off me! It's not a very precise piece of equipment. Boxed. Error cube. It's a lot of gold. There's a few streamers that do heavily modded stream based games, but not sure if I'm allowed to mention other Twitches, but uh, Peachy Keen is one of my favorites. Uh, it's whatever. Talk about what you want. As long as it's not obscene. Or someone we don't like. Yeah. It's a relatively small list though. You should probably be able to use the cleaning tools on rock park centers. I think uh, you they do have some sort of fear effect. Uh, not on the law way, it seems like, but... Uh... Wait, who do we all not like? That's a secret. Well done. We will repair it. Oh, oh maybe you Remember that Jonas hates charity. Who? And which Jonas? Yeah, the one who left. Die! 
or at least he ruined it. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Catching the redder. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's a that was about uh, giving something. Uh, yeah. When you're in, I can. I, I think he said that on stream. Uh, maybe as a joke. I don't know. I don't even remember what was said or. But he's happened. from he's from a part of Denmark where they like uh, like uh, good charity. Yeah, hate, hate charity, <laughs> hate giveaway. It's like good manual labor. Uh, you need to get calluses on your hands, uh, else it uh, doesn't count. Might as well be sleeping. Yeah, they don't yeah. have any good Samaritans. They only have bad Samaritans. What's your favorite cosmetic item? Uh, I like the, I... the bowler hat a lot. Uh, I haven't used it in a while though. And the Cyclops helmet? I was about to say the Cyclops helmet. I like that one. Yeah, it's really good. Alright, where was the. Uh... Request cleared. Sending in cleansing equipment. Do we have any. Any legs around? I tossed someone something at, at some point. What are air cubes for? We don't talk about air cubes. That's correct. We don't talk about air cubes. Will Deep Rock have some sort of PvP? Uh, no. It's a co-op game first and foremost. Uh, oh wait, wait. You can get a uh, resupply. Rock and stone. Rock and stone in the heart. The rock and stone. Oh, I was not paying attention. Here we go. Build, build, build. Uh, are enemies that are bipedal and wield weaponry out of the question for DRG? Uh, I would put it in the highly unlikely pile. Uh, it's uh, very hard to make it look good in our caves, uh, where you have like tall enemies that move around the caves. <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, will there be more enemy types coming up, like yeah. bug fungus covered since uh, both types being exist in Hoxes? Uh, I don't know about that specifically, but uh, I would be surprised if we didn't add more enemy types to the game at some point. That's true. I mean, it's we have to add something. Yeah, and I think enemy types uh, makes makes a lot of sense. Prime candidate. Elves and goblins are referenced in DRG chatter. Do humans also exist in the universe? Uh, humans are also referenced in uh, uh, DRG chatter, so to speak. 
There's a voice line where one of the dwarves asked the other if they were mistaken for a human. <clears throat> so, I assume yes. Yeah, it's implied that there are uh, races that are not dwarves in general, because uh, Deep Rock Galactic hires dwarves to, to do the mining. But uh, there's also other things to do, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Also chicken coops. Yeah, and mules, I guess. I mean... I, I would assume that uh, pretty much any classic fantasy available race would be uh, part of Deep Rock until we say otherwise. Um, It's like uh, if you've said A, you gotta say B too. So uh, I mean, if you say dwarves, uh, you probably gotta say orcs and shit too. But uh... what about Balrogs, Jacob? Uh, I think Bal Balrogs are too specific to the mm. to the Lord of the Rings. But then again, I mean, embrace embrace our okay, own. Okay, how about the games? copyright free fire demon that lives underneath the ground? Uh, is uh. it ever? What about a troll on the bridge? <laughs> um, no, but I mean, Embracer that owns uh, Ghost Ship Games also uh, uh, fairly recently acquired the uh, the Lord of the Rings license. So it's, uh, technically, I mean, if it should happen, uh, it can. I, I don't think that anyone who's holding the license will think, yeah, let's uh, let's make like this uh, future space game uh, a part of the Lord of the Rings universe because that it's basically what would happen if. Uh, if we did that, and uh, do you think there might be a some point, uh, be at some point too much content? Is there any plan to spread out future content from the current content? Uh, I think a bigger risk is there being too many things in a single mission at once. Uh, so I I think we started feeling it already in uh, at least season two, um, where there's just like. There's always like multiple events in in a cave almost, uh, and it just becomes a bit much. So uh, we're wary of having too much sort of clutter uh, with objectives and ev events in in the caves. But uh, too much content in general, I I don't know. That's. Seems like less of an issue. I think it's it's an issue that we might see happening, and when it happens, we'll uh, figure out what to do then. At some point, we'll just probably just make a sequel or something. Are you guys ready? Yeah, here's a here's like. Here's your one one. The collection. I should uh, get some ammo. Or, uh... Getting more ammo. Why is the drill dozer called the red eye? Well, why not? I love this it's got to be called something. Yeah. Ready to shoot. 
But I think if you look at similar sort of live service games that maybe can get sort of too much content, like I'm, I'm thinking about uh, games like uh, World of Warcraft where you have items that you can find and that item from three expansions ago can still be used for something unique, so you need to go get it. I think those are like in the range of too much content, right? Where there's a laundry list of like 10 years worth of stuff they've added into the game that you need to go through before you can do any of the relevant content, so to speak. But I think that like in World of Warcraft, they also like when the new expansion arrived, it just made it easier to get like, like for, to start over, right? Still yeah, a lot of time you had to put in there, like a lot of content you had to do, but... Uh... At least, uh, I think these days, it's uh, pretty common for... Uh, like, uh, if you have a potion from the previous expansion, it doesn't work in the new, like, areas. No. Uh, so there's no point in using them for the current, sort of... Uh, for the relevant content in the game. Potions? Yeah. My heels. What? I, I think I think uh, like problems like that is is evident in games like Destiny uh, Two. Mm -hmm. I didn't play that from the start, and I uh, jumped on at some point. Uh, I guess the maybe the second expansion or something. And like the just the amount of things and clutter in that game is just insane. I mean. Destiny 2 was a mess when it launched as well. Yeah. <laughs> still is, I think. I mean, I think I heard they did fix it I mean, somehow, but it's still... Play yeah. Gold, gold, gold. It's going up. Oh, it's just... Does portable healing fit into DRG's flow? Uh, I think we're very happy with how sort of health works in DRG. Yeah. Um, so probably not. Like, maybe healing could be part of some event where it uh, provides some special gameplay where you need to manage your health with something. But uh, I think in, in general, the healing is, is in a good place. Yeah, I think if we were to add something like that, it would be like a, maybe like an event or power up. It's a lot of access. Yeah. Anything Let's planned for go. April 1st? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I think uh, doing something for one day only is... is a, it's a lot of resources to, to spend on that. We'd rather do it on, on the events that are longer. I know, I mean, when we had like the whole where you could delete beers with Q, uh, what I really wanted them to do uh, before they actually removed it, I wanted them to have uh, make sure that on April 1st, when you try to delete a beer, you drink it instead. That, that would have been great. Yeah, that would have been so great. But no one listens to me. <laughs> well, you do, Johan. I you don't. You don't I, care, but you listen. That's, <laughs> that's the most. I, I sit here at least through yeah, your sit here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not muted most of the time. <laughs> How big is uh, your team? Uh, I think we're. Are we still 25, or are we closer to 30 now? I think we're closer to third. Uh, well. Depends on what you mean with team. People employed at Ghost Ship, I think. We're around 30 people, I think. Yeah. Mm. Dark more kind of, it's not that. We have, oh, we have a refinery. Uh, oh, we can, you still need Hollowbow? No, I need the crystal and dense for two more missions. And that's crystal it. Crystal and dense. Alright, let's go. Flamethrower skin. 
epic. Next hair color. I think uh, it's starting to become funny that we haven't added blue hair color yet, so probably a color that isn't blue. Don't you agree, Jacob? Yeah. <laughs> People can keep asking for it. <laughs> We're gonna have like two shades of red now, right? Yeah. So, uh... And then when we finally add it, we'll give it the beast more treatment. <laughs> Getting it the best voice lines in the game. Will there ever be an easier way to keep track of all the cosmetics? Have a way to see what you don't own for either previous events, rare events, and so on. Uh, I don't think we'll have an overview of, like what you're missing uh, as such, um, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I doubt we will do that, but uh, I hope we can get a bit more organized in the yeah, wardrobe and such. Nice. Uh, one thing I would love to see in the inventory is a mark all complete, so you don't have to manually go everything you can. Yeah. Uh, also. Uh, discussed that at some point. Also got shut down uh, by the boomers. I, th I think we should talk about it again. Yeah. I think there were some points we didn't bring up that is important to the yeah. whole... Uh, like, if you unlock one skin, it's not only clicking the new thing, but it's clicking the new thing for every weapon that you own. Yeah. Uh, so if you unlock one skin, you have to like click away, what is it, like... Uh, 12, 24 we weapons, right? How do you like so, clicking, uh, Johan? What's wrong with clicking? Hmm? What's wrong with clicking? Uh, it's annoying to do it 24 times. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, or, uh, or if it's just like when you clicked at it on one weapon, it would disappear for all weapons. Yeah, I think the the uh, suggestion has been rejected earlier, but I think it's still valid. So, uh, I mean, the same uh, adding adding uh, like more ways to get quartz was also rejected at some point until it wasn't. So, I mean, just keep swimming. We'll get there. Please don't add any new weapons because I don't want to do it 48 times for each skin. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll have to do it if we add more weapons. That's a, that's a good point, actually. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Or we can give some kind of reward when you actually clear all of your uh, notifications that you oh, had yeah. something new. So then you want to do it instead. You want to sit there for. Like a checkbox mastery or something. Yeah, yeah. Gives you a core. 
and then you can unlock like some skills with it. So it's like it, give, oh, you, it gives you new every weapons. time you, every time you click on one, you really remove two notifications. I, I think the reward should be like a special <laughs> weapon skin, so you have to click twenty four more boxes <laughs> once you get it. <laughs> we should become a game designers, Jacob. Yeah, we should uh, also make an achievement. Just call it torture. <laughs> Uh, are there plans to add new achievements at all in the future? I think it's tricky because uh, on the consoles they have a very specific system with how the achievements works and how they have to work. So yes. we get like a certain amount of points that we can like uh, spread out for the achievements that you get, for instance. And uh, we only get an amount of points, so I guess we've already used all of our points. This one has grown extra fat and juicy because it doesn't have to spend energy on, on just hanging. It mm. can, it's just lying on a... It's <laughs> like a Rocky montage. I'm training up my boxing skills. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I touched it with my hands. <laughs> You sit in your chair, Ron. We're Jadis. Does using savers just cause issue with the game or are they safe to use? I mean, uh, I, our Q&A department really hates you if you do it because it can cause issues. Uh, I'm not saying it will, but... Uh, I would say explore at your own risk. Yeah, and if you lose, yeah. uh, lose shit and don't have backups, then, uh, I mean... YOLO. We don't really do any testing with the save editors, yeah. so... Uh, uh, we can't guarantee that you won't lose anything or corrupt any file or whatever. Yeah. But I'm I'm guessing there's some good ones out there that doesn't corrupt your file, but uh, we're we really don't know. I can hear lots of enemies, but I can't see any enemies. Okay, there we go. Here they come. Here they come! Do you guys have a lot of enemies over by you? Yeah. Alright. And a piece of compressed gold. You're rich? Where are you even? Your Changed since I checked last, but only paid expansion were allotted extra achievement points for a game, even that depending on the amount of content added. That's the last time I checked was in 360 Xbox One transition, so it may have changed. Yeah, I, I I'm not sure. Maybe 
Maybe Axel knows. I, th I think it, it has, uh, mostly because like uh, that's more like live service games uh, these days. Um, also, fairly sure we added some during early access, but maybe. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Machine event. Yeah, we down there. What the fuck? Are you further? See if they've just added more achievements and they're a f uh, free updated live service game. I wonder what the rules behind that are. I mean, aren't isn't Rare owned by Microsoft? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I bet they can bend the rules a bit as well. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's also the point with the with, with live service games. Uh, yeah. Um, that the, the just the game's genres have changed. Yeah. You think Rare would ever make a new Banjo Kazooie game? Maybe a sea of Banjo Kazooies. <laughs> That was rare, right? I'm not just yeah, an idiot. It was. Yeah. That would have been embarrassing otherwise. Have you tried the the, the ukulele one? Uh, no. Uh, I actually haven't played uh, Banjo Kazooie either, so. What? I mean, either. I've played a tiny bit of, I think, a Game Boy version of Banjo Kazooie. Or maybe I'm wrong. Was Banjo Kazooie on the Game Boy? Banjo Kazooie Game Boy. Yes, Gunty's Revenge. <laughs> Job well done. But on the mule, Do I need the final gunks? I think it's angry. Oh, I can still. Uh... Now it's gonna starve to death. Good. Oh, lots of acid spitters. Oh my god. Like five of them at once. One more. Watch the moving turd. You have the. That's Gangarinos. Why don't we catch it, Molly? Alright, starting it. So where I remember have... Croc. Yeah, Croc was Croc. Cool. <laughs> I remember the first boss being like a boxing ladybug. Maybe that was Croc 2, I don't remember. Or is, was it a wrestling ladybug? I've not seen any Ebonite Glyphs yet. No, I haven't. Oh, there they are. I didn't know there was a PC version of Croc. I would assume you had to go with a, an emulator or something. Yeah.
I really wish Nintendo would just put up all the ROMs of their old games <laughs> somewhere where you can buy them. But they're kind of doing it though, like with the Nintendo Online, but you just have to have a subscription, right? Yeah, but they don't have all of their games. Like, they don't have the old Pokemon games, for instance, which is a big title missing, I feel like. Yeah. I guess uh, they, they're keeping it so they can, like, re-release them at full price at some point. Maybe. I know you have just, disposable income, Johan. I just wish they'd do it. Alright. We done. Yeah. Priority to resupply. Supply pods launched. Better stand back. Build some more crates. Stop pods on the way. Hang in there. Should watch out, Lusty. Rock me like a stone. Resupply arrives. Go restock and stone forever. Getting supplies. Drumpot arrived. Mule is returning to LZ. By the beard. Uh, do you have any plans to release a beer line from the game and those masterpiece mugs with it? Uh, no. I know we've had a few breweries. Is it local brewers that have yeah, like, like reached out and wanted to do something? I think. Uh... I think there is, there's been a few in the US. Uh, I'm not sure if there's been any in Denmark. The thing is, um, alcohol is, is kind of hard to, to ship. Uh, and, uh, and and make so it's uh, regulated in, in different areas. So uh, I don't think that'll happen. Right now it's more convenient to emulate Nintendo games than it is to buy them. Yeah, I mean, it's even almost impossible to buy them in some cases. If you just get them to make wormhole brew first, transportation won't be an issue. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I getting it to the that. right place probably would, but... Uh... Yeah, well, we just want it everywhere, right? So... I guess. <laughs> still read the suggestion trailer it's been a while since i've uh, been in and had a small idea i don't think the trailer has been used for a long no, time no it's no longer active um uh, we, we, i mean mostly on our discord uh and occasionally like reddit i think uh things pop up yeah Uh, I hate when a remaster of an old game comes out, then they delist the original everywhere. I can't get the original version of the other thing. I know some of those have like an old school mode. Uh, it's probably not exactly the same, but uh, sometimes you can go in and, and activate the, the old school graphics. Question, does this stream count as work? Yes, it does. 
Pays the bills, baby. Gamer skills that pay the bills. Gamer bills. What a coincidence. Mission selected, locked in. Time to board the drop pod. A set of back breakers for the thirst and some ice for my back, Lori. Yeah, the inspire song works. I'm gonna go with a different loadout, I think. What? Yeah, just uh, feel like uh, mixing it up a little bit. And you can't buy the original Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition either on Steam. They removed it when the remaster came out. I guess they don't want to support many parts. I, I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense with newer games, but the old games, I mean. I mean, isn't it just because they can sell the new one for a full price? Yeah, I guess. And uh, the old one is one third of that price. <laughs> But uh, I really like the the Master Chief collection. That was good. You can't buy any of the Unreal tournaments on Steam either, which is because Epic is a bunch of cunts. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's why. Um, man, we should do like a Unreal 99 stream at some point, John. Unreal 99? Yeah, the original Unreal tournament oh. thing. Sure. If it's Deep Rock related. Uh, it is because I want to play it and I... Uh, hmm. And you're the community it. manager. Yeah. And at some point we'll also play like uh, Deep Rock Survivor on this uh, channel. And maybe also some of the other, other games. Not as regularly as we do this, I'm sure, but uh, we'll uh, have a little look-see. I imagine. Yeah, it, it also helped a lot that you know the Halo games didn't exist on uh, on uh, PC before the Master Chief Collection, so it was a really good deal for people on PC. Played it co-op with a friend all the way through. Great games. I've never been that much into Halo. Heresy. No halo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Wait, that's not my. Uh... There we go. What the? Son of a bitch. There we go. Yikes. <laughs> Leech. Did you shoot the cave leech, Jacob? What cave leech? Any of the ones we've killed? Uh, yes, I shot at the... I think I shot a... Uh... <laughs> Damn. 
You've changed, man. No, I mean, people knew it was there, so. Just a liability at that point. Uh. Oh. Nitro leech. Caught one. <laughs> Nitro. Any other uh, anniversary video submitters in here not got the DLC yet? Uh, I guess you should check your spam folder yeah. in the emails. Everyone who says who said they haven't gotten it, uh, haven't checked the spam folder. It's uh, probably in there. Because they have been sent out, all yeah, of them, right? They were sent in bulk, so uh, that might be the reason it's in the spam folder. All right. Uh, ready? Uh, yes. Cool, it's a hive guard. Hive guard. Easy. Oh, sorry. S -s 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 sorry. It's good. Boom.
Oh, lots of enemies in here. Oh, where are you? Yo? Next room. Oh. We're in the next room. Oh, and there's two next rooms. I'll get over to you guys then. Well, at least I didn't get leeched. Uh, someone. Oh no. And uh, welcome, Mr. Chopsticks. East Coast! Rock and stone, I found a yeast cone. Did we open the next one? Mm, yeah. Run! In the next room. <laughs> God damn it. Hello. Get the 
focus on the obelisk, I think. Oh no! Can you guys decorate the space rig a little more? It feels kind of empty after the year, this year's event. Uh, well, I think if it was always decorated a lot, it wouldn't feel so special when it was decorated a lot. I mean, it's better than ever, too. Uh. What's your favorite anime, Johan? Uh, I mean, Nichio is one of them. Um, oh, favorite. Ah! Two points, Johan. We need to we need to focus on the obelisk, I think. A bit. Have to think about the enemies that are really good that I like. Right now I'm watching a, an anime called To Your Eternity. It's probably one of the saddest animes I've ever seen, but I, I really like it. I feel like you're reusing answers at that point, Johan. No. Yes. I've never seen this anime before. You talked about it yesterday. Uh, at work? Uh, it's doing stream, I think. What? Maybe it was last week, I don't know. I, I... Saddest anime you'd ever seen. Yeah, I think I've talked about it at work. No, yeah. I don't remember. Oh, maybe. But... I, this is all work to be, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was with Anders, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. We need more nuts, so not here. One nut. Ow, ow, ow. We have a dreadnought. More two. Yes. It is here. Why do elevator plants make that unholy roar when you destroy them? Because the getting destroyed hurts, you know. Yeah. Not uh, not the most pleasant thing, I think. Uh, kind of big question to ask here, but what are the chances a few fan art models or for like small trinkets and such could make it uh, into the space rig? Uh, probably not very high. I think we had an idea to put a few fan art pieces like on the fridge in the space rig. Yeah, rig. like so, drawings or uh, like artwork. Yeah. But I think there's a, a bunch of potential wasps nests that you can <laughs> accidentally poke there. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I need ammo. Just open it. Oh, someone double dipped. Probably the me. bastard. I mean, we have more than enough. Oh, too old for it now.
Uh, does Molly just clip through walls if all tunnels to the drop pod are blocked? Uh, I think she does, yeah. Or she, like, I don't think she beelines it to the exit, but uh, if, uh, if there's like a thin gap, I think she goes there and tries to sort of force her way through. But uh, if all else fails, the drop pod opens. I think it's 15 seconds before the timer runs out, yeah. regardless. Cool. Alright. Yeah. I'm done. Quick question for the Ghost Ship Games team. When should we expect to hear official info on season 4? Um, I don't know. That's a, that's a hard question. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, just keep watching the stream, I think. Um, I'm not sure when we have something that's uh, ready. Uh, but it'll be closer to release, which I think we put on the roadmap. Uh, Didn't we say end of Q... Yeah, we're aiming for end of Q2, which is uh, probably uh, end of June. But uh, who knows at this point. Should we just uh, call it? Yeah. Must have missed the email. Nothing in my spam folder. Mm. Is there... I don't know if we do anything about that uh if you can if you're on discord you can send me your email and i'll check I do think uh a pr agency who who is handling that is probably on vacation currently but uh like her there but um you'll, you'll get it one way or the other important about a month before my birthday? I mean, it's a month before your birthday. Of course, obviously it's important. You are the PA PR agency, Jake. No, hell no. Uh, I would get to play video games all day if I were. I guess I would, <laughs> potentially, but not. I am in marketing, but I'm not the marketing. Are you the law? Oh, my PR is uh, viral. I play for the quality content, so keep it up and don't you dare do any crunch. You all are too talented to be lost in a corporate time crunch. Uh, I think we can promise that won't happen. Epic. Bye-bye, well Mr. Chopsticks. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, Guess uh, we should call it. Alright. You know what that means, Johan? Yeah. I'm trying to find some. If Twitch will load. Is this Twitch on? Uh, I got this. Muted. Good. Then I got this. They kept you like playing DRG. No, the two times, uh, two hours every week is pure suffering. <laughs> <laughs> now it's fun. Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, have we done feel underscore UC before? Mm, no.
Let's uh, let's do heal underscore use. All right. Uh, quick and to the point. Quick and yeah, to the point. Yeah. I hate that there's like pre-roll ads. So when I click onto someone's stream to see if they talk on stream, yeah. I just have to watch an ad before. But I guess if they have ads, they must somewhat talk. Yeah, but I just want to find someone to raid. <laughs> It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Sure is. And with that, I think... Uh, we're gonna say... Thank you for today. Good having you. Yeah. Thank you for the questions. Thanks for joining the game, the people who did. Yeah, uh, Yulo, Yulo, and uh, Lusty, and Mr. Jobtex, thank you. Yeah. For raising the bar and the quality of this stream. Thank you, Lloyd, for all the delicious beer. Whoa, shit. I'm a meteor. Oh, that thought me. That was nice. Uh, yeah, uh, and um, remember to rock and stone uh, because we're raiding now. And uh, see you next week. Rock Bye. Stone.